No. Did you ever see a gun in his workplace or apartment? No. Ever see a gun on his person or here? I remember Jimmy saying one thing. What was that? That he didn't like guns and thought people who owned them were stupid. No. Miss Garcia, you told me in an earlier interview that you'd seen a gun in Tobin's work cabinet in your loft apartment. Yes, but when I went back and took a look, I saw I was mistaken. It was a pair of pliers. You mistook a pair of pliers for a gun? I guess so. No, not in his possession exactly. But I did see a gun in our loft the night before the murder. Could you describe it? Silver, and it had a black handle. It was in Jimmy's work cabinet the night before the murder. This uh, this work cabinet, it's on the premises where you live? Yes, in the painting studio. Did you say anything to the defendant? No, I was afraid to. Is this the weapon you saw in the defendant's work cabinet? That's it. I recognize it because of the insignia and the tape on the back of the gun. I should have talked about it. Uh, I was just too afraid. I was in bed asleep. And where was Mr. Tobin that evening? Uh, he was in the next room painting in the studio, late as usual. Until what time? About nine. Uh, I remember because yes? we I remember because we made love on the couch and we lay there for a long time afterwards just talking and then we went to bed. Did the defendant ever get up out of bed? No, not till the next morning. You sure? Yeah. I came home from school about six. Jimmy seemed a little nervous. Did the defendant leave the loft after dinner? No. He went to the studio, and uh, we ended up in bed at about 11. Do you recall the defendant leaving the bedroom at any point during the night? Yes. At what time? At about 3 o'clock in the morning. I woke up. Jimmy was coming in the bedroom door, and he had street clothes on. He had one of those wool, like, navy caps on. Objection! Argumentative! Sustain. I'll rephrase. Miss Garcia, do you recall the defendant leaving your bedroom at any point during the night in question? No. He had his arms around me all night. There's no way he left. Yeah. Do you not recall him getting up at any point? No. Have you ever slept through your boyfriend getting out of bed? How would I know? Answer the question, Ms. Garcia. Yes. I suppose it's possible he could have gotten up without waking me. Objection! Speculative! If the court would be so kind, the prosecution feels contextual testimony warrants this line of questioning. Sustained. Your Honor, the answer to his question is Ms. no. Ms. Garcia. Ms. Garcia. It's ridiculous to think that Jimmy would destroy his own work. Destroy? Police report says the paintings were stolen. Sure, but the thief also hacked up some of his paintings with a razor and just left them behind. Jimmy would never do his artwork like that. He said he heard a noise downstairs and went to investigate. Did he tell you what he found? He said he didn't find anything. No? When did you come to learn the paintings were stolen? The next morning. Jimmy left the loft early, on an errand or something. Zach came by all upset said someone had broken into the gallery and Jimmy's paintings were gone. Now that I think about it, that's really when the trouble between Zach and Jimmy started. Well, first I told him what had happened the night before, how Jimmy had heard a noise and went downstairs to investigate. Well, I thought that the thief had hung out and hid until Jimmy left. Did Zach respond? Zach was suspicious. He goes to me, what a stunt. Jim will never get away with this. Not exactly. 
Did you get the feeling that Zach himself was somehow involved? I didn't know what to think. Yeah, I told him. And what was his reaction? Jimmy lost it. He said Zach better keep his big ideas to himself real. Or what? I don't know. He didn't finish. No, we never had an affair. Ms. Garcia, please read the beginning of the letter. Out loud. Out loud. Dear Ruby Red, I want to talk to you about what happened between us the other night. The feelings are so strong, I can't think of anything else. When you interviewed me at my loft, I was extremely upset. You had pushed me into saying a lot of things I didn't even mean. Did you have an affair? Objection argumentative. Sustain. Yes, but it was just a one night stand. Well, after you read the letter, he was upset naturally, but I don't remember any threats. No threats at all? No. No? Please tell the jury why. I took a look at it and decided it was a piece of garbage. It's like Jimmy said. Zach only wrote it to make him jealous. Zachary would do anything to get at Jimmy. No. Please tell the jury why. Because Jimmy took it before I could read it. Ruby. I don't know what to believe anymore, but I've decided the least I could do is tell the truth. What I've told you then was true. I have very deep feelings for you. All right? I love you. I've said it. Please continue. But what we did last night was not right. I love my wife, Yvonne. I shouldn't, shouldn't have allowed things to go as far as they did. I don't know how I'll face her. And it's not fair to Jimmy either. He's made some mistakes, but deep down he's a good guy. And finally, Ruby, what should be important to you is your own work. Because it's good, and it could get lost in all this mess. Capiche? Love? Zach? Oh, God. I lied. Please speak up if you can. I lied! I've been lying. No. Or knew about one? No. Or heard the defendant? I told you, no. I have no way of really knowing that. Objection. Sustained. Dear Ruby Red, I want to talk to you about what happened between us the other night. The feelings are so strong, I can't think of anything else. Ruby, I don't know what to believe anymore, but I've decided the least I can do is tell the truth. Yeah, right. That will be enough, Ms. Garcia. <sighs> yes. I saw it in Jimmy's work cabinet the night before Zach died. What did it look like, Ruby? It was silver with a black handle. I knew he put it there. Objection, speculative. <sighs> you Dang. know he's guilty. How can you sit there and defend a man you know is Your a murderer? Honor. He's a murderer! That is the How end of your Ms. Garcia, this work cabinet in which you mistook a pair of pliers for a gun, was it well lit? No, actually, it's more like a closet than a cabinet, and towards the back, it's, it's dark. So it would be easy to mistake one object for another? Sure. Regarding the night of the theft, the prosecution contends that James Tobin left your apartment while you were sleeping. 
Now, during the time that you lived with my client, was it unusual for you to wake up in the middle of the night? No. Really? Why? Well, Jimmy always had to get up to pee, sometimes twice. The ravages of age, I suppose. No, too much coffee for dinner. <laughs> Would you characterize yourself as a light sleeper? Definitely. My family used to joke that after the lights went out, I could hear a mouse sneeze in Mexico. But believe me, if Jimmy got up, I would have known. Ms. Garcia, the truth is you were indeed having an affair with the deceased at the same time you were living with James Tobin, correct? Yes. And did you and your lover discuss the theft before it took place? My lover? Uh, do you mean Zach or Jimmy? You tell me, which one was it? I, I don't understand the question. I'll withdraw. Miss Garcia, isn't it true that you and Zachary Barnes planned to run off with the insurance money after James Tobin's paintings were stolen? Objection. Sustain.